Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy here, like back with another video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make buttons in Discord.py. This is a very new addition to Discord.py and it just came out. It's actually, I think it came out today as the time of recording this, May 27th, I think. And, um, yeah, I think I'm the first person making a video on this, which is pretty monumental. And yeah, I'll be showing you guys how you can make Discord buttons in Discord.py. So let's get straight to it. So first, what we want to do is we want to import um, uh, what do you call it? A module called Discord underscore buttons, like so. And then from Discord dot underscore buttons, import Discord button button. And actually, you can just skip all of this. Just put an asterisk, and what this will do is import all. And so just import everything that there is in the library. Then what you want to do is go over here to pip. If you're in uh, repel, go to shell. Or if you want a more long-term thing, you can go to your sidebar here. And it should be, um, you should be able to install from there your package manager. Just search up Discord dash button. So, but if you're in Visual Studio Code, PyCharm, or Sublime, open up your terminal and just do pip install Discord dash buttons like I am doing currently. Now mine is already installed, so it will say requirement already satisfied, but you guys probably don't have it installed, and so just go ahead and install it. It's the same thing for cogs, so you don't have to like change anything up for cogs, you can just do the same thing that I'm doing right now. And now, what we want to do is want to go here, and just do eb equals discord button, and then Client. If you have bot as your thing over here, then put in bot here. But I have client, so I'm just gonna be putting in client. And then you can just scroll anywhere or in your cog and start your command. So we're just gonna start this off with a regular command by doing client.command and then async dev. And I'm just gonna be calling this button. And then just pass in CTX, and that's all you're gonna need. And then we want to have a variable, so we can do I don't know m equals and what this will sorry about that but we're just gonna do m equals oh wait cdx.set and then open up parentheses and then open that up like so and then inside we can put in the message that you want to be sent when they run this command if you want an embed you can do that too but i'm just gonna do the button command ram like so and then put up and then what you want to do is put a comma there, and then make another array called buttons. Like so. And then make button. A capital B, just be careful of that. And then style equals. And now this is going to be the color of the button, I guess. So you can do, if you want just like a regular button, just do button style dot, I don't know, let's say we want, um, yeah, here are your options, I'm in sub, uh, I'm in I charm, so it gives me all my options, so blue, red, green, gray, stuff like that. We're just gonna do blue for now, because blue is a nice color, and then you wanna do label equals, and we can keep this to any label, let's say, click me, and then, yeah, that's basically it. There's another type of button that you can also do, and we can just actually copy this because yeah and over here what we want to do is instead of having blue this is a url button and this will actually open up another url you can do uh you just want to highlight this or and then put url in all caps and then we can do like call this subscribe and then add a comma here and you can actually add a website to go to so you can do url equals it like HTTPS, let's say youtube.com slash school. So, by the way, subscribe really helps out. And then let's make just another one which has my Discord invite. Okay, so I skipped through that because you guys probably don't want to see it. And I forgot, add commas in the ends of these and for all of them, and even for this end array. And now we want to break out of the thing entirely. So out of the wait ctx.send and then let's do res equals await 
GDB Discord button uh, like yes. Wait for button click underscore click like so and then do app. So that's the variable that we sent here. I'm gonna do await oh, res dot respond and then we can open that up. And then we want to do type equals interact. Nope, not that one. Interaction type dot channel. Nope. Dot channel message with source. And then add a comma there. And we can do content equals. And that's going to be an F string, like so. And do res. Actually, because it's an F string, do this. Res dot button dot label. And what this will in fact do is this will go into here and this will go buttons and this will find the label for the button that we clicked and then we can say has been clicked and there you go and basically all this would do once again is for whatever button that's clicked it would just say that button has been clicked you can hook this up to something like i don't know help command or whatever you really choose and then make it more in depth like so it all works regularly so let's hop onto discord and let's actually run this okay so here we are in my discord and we can just do d button okay so sorry about that i actually just had the wrong prefix for it but if we do d button now it says button command ran and then it comes us with the three buttons that we provided so if we do subscribe you can click yep and it will bring me to my YouTube channel, like here, by the way, subscribe, helps out the channel. If we do invite, it will, I'm already in the server, so it brings me here. But yeah, you can change it to whatever you like. And lastly, if we do click me, it will say click me has been clicked. And that's basically it. And yeah, you can customize this to whatever you'd like. And even only you can see this. So you can do some private commands like that or like generate passwords with this even. So only the user can see this. And if you want to dismiss the message, you can. It pops right back up. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. It was a fun one to make. And so once again, the first one. So yeah, if you did enjoy, be sure to hit subscribe. Really helps out the channel. And tell me if what you're going to do with this feature and if you like it or not. Anyways, till next time, go scout. See ya!